expecting Byron. And I think we're expecting everyone except Cindy, who was otherwise obligated today. Should we give it a couple of minutes or should we start? Monica's on the line. Oh, there you are. Good, good deal. Okay. So uh, let's see, we've got, uh, we're missing. missing. I've got uh, whoever said they were coming here somewhere. I'll find that and let you know. Um, let's see. Let's see. We were gonna. We were not going to have uh, Chelsea or oh. Cindy. Oh, okay. Okay. So we're just really right now only missing Byron. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, I I then uh, with uh, all due respect to Byron, I'm going to go ahead and get us started now because we do have quite a bit to cover. Um, welcome to this virtual meeting of the Mayor's Advisory Commission on the Arts. Today is November 12th. It's Thursday, and uh, we're going to start this off a few minutes past 12. Thank you, uh, Commission members and city staff, for attending, um, especially uh, and a special new welcome for uh, appointee Thomas Meyer. So we're pleased to have you join us today. I'm going to do a, a audio um roll call just for the benefit of everyone who may or may not be able to see us. So um, I will ask uh, you to just let me know. Trent Austin. Hello, I'm here. Welcome. And uh, Byron, you're not in yet. Nancy. I'm here. And Katie Gall. I'm here. And Monica Kettenhoffen. I'm here. And then Thomas Meyer, you're welcome to chime in today and tell us a little about yourself. You'd like, if you would like to. Sure, um, I'll be brief. So first of all, thank you so much for um, allowing me the opportunity to serve the community on this on this uh, commission. And um, just a little bit about myself. I've been working in community colleges now since 2001, and I've been working in colleges since 1991, and um, always with. Um, a little bit of a tilt toward the arts. So my, my bachelor's degree is in English literature. My master's is in English, uh, teaching English, and my PhD is in linguistics. And so I've always been involved in the literary arts, but um, I also am an amateur painter and photographer. And I just um, am really involved in, in community and the arts. And I've seen the power of the arts in the community from my work with the Miami Book Fair International. I lived in Miami for 20 years. And at Broward College, I helped start the first uh, Fringe, Fort Lauderdale Fringe Festival, which was a heck of a lot of fun, a heck of a lot of work, but a heck of a lot of fun. And um, I also helped start the Miami Culinary Institute. So I'm, I have some knowledge in the culinary arts. And um, at Lehigh Carbon Community College, I was appointed to Arts Quest, which um, I don't know if you're familiar with that. It's, uh, they took the old Bethlehem steel plant and turned it into an outdoor concert venue and uh, center for the arts. And it's just an amazing space. And so I was involved in that and uh, doing education outreach. So I was on their education advisory panel. So um, when this opportunity presented itself, um, um, because I've been involved in the um, Englewood Arts Project, and I wanted to get our students more involved. We have a thriving arts program here at Blue River, which I think a lot of people probably don't know about because we don't do a good job at tuning our own horn. And I really just wanna get our students more out and about in the arts community in independence. So I'm thrilled to be here. Thank you so much. I don't wanna take up too much time, but if people have questions, um, they can certainly reach out to me or send them in chat. Thank, thank you so much. And again, welcome. Thank you so much. You have a lot of um, interesting things I think we're going to uh, glean from your experience. Um, that's really exciting. So thankful for, for your participation. I, I think Byron's getting... Um, Byron's here. I Byron's don't... here now. Very good. Can so, you see him? Can you see his square? I can see. There's his happy face. Welcome, Byron. Yeah, thank you. I, we were just uh, getting to know our newest commission appointee, Thomas Meyer, uh, from Metropolitan Community College at Blue River. Yes, I, I met Tom on a Zoom yesterday for Englewood Arts. So. Perfect. 
Glad to have him on this group too. This is great. We're glad to have you all uh, as well as Thomas. So thank you so much. Um, Trent, uh, if we could just be really brief, we could just give, um, just give Thomas a little bit of an idea about who we each are. Um, and uh, Trent, if you'd like to start off, that would be great. Sure, I'll be super brief. I um, toured professionally as a musician for about 25 years and then eventually started my own business uh, in the music industry and uh, moved to independence about two years ago from Boston. So just joined myself, so I'm learning on the fly as well, but it's great to be here. And um, you know Byron a bit. So Nancy, why don't you just share a little bit about um, your place in this commission? I can't. Great. Um, my name is Nancy Effort, of course, and I am the current president of the City Theater of Independence. I have been working in theater a long time. I'm also a member of the American Association of Community Theater, and I currently also am contract with the City of Independence Tourism Department as the administrator for the, our Independence Living History Program. So um, I just, I'm just excited to be part of this program. So Nancy works often with Eric, with the Parks Department, and mm -hmm. with Eric and with Morris. So um, mm -hmm. I, I'm sure you know Eric. I, I'm assuming that you know Eric and Morris. Um, oh yes, of course. <laughs> well, yes, we do. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah just a bit. Okay. A little bit. <laughs> well, I meant uh, I meant did Thomas know who Eric? Oh and yes. In this Sorry. Today, so. Um, then, uh, Monica, if you'd like to share a little bit about yourself. Uh, sure. My name is Monica Kettenhofen. Um, I, I guess I'm all over the place. Um, <laughs> I work in IT, uh, but my true love is art. Um, I do art on the side. Um, painting is my true passion, but I love illustration. Um, and I also, uh, do some graphics design. I have also tutored in the past. Um, currently that's not really a good thing with, uh, the current state of things, but, um, hopefully, uh, skies are looking up. So, but yep, that's me in a nutshell. So. And I'm Stacy Short. I'm a longtime resident of the City of Independence. I own property in Inglewood. I'm a big supporter of Inglewood, and I live in Inglewood. And um, I have a degree from the Kansas City Art Institute. My focus is primarily in um, graphics and photography, but I do a little of everything, including painting, just for fun. So um, if there's anything that you you uh, any city staff person would like to share please um let's uh sh let's tell thomas what you have that i've overlooked what Any did you want to have katie chime in as well did i miss you i apologize katie yes thank that's all right thanks mark <laughs> no problem. um my name is katie gall i am an interior designer i work at an architecture firm in lenexa um i live in independence um in the historic district, the McCoy neighborhood. And I just have always loved the arts and I represent the professional, I think, and for the commission um, with my role in design um, with the architecture community. So. She's very modest. She's a dynamic okay. individual and I apologize for overlooking you. So oh, sorry. Not a problem. Um, if we could uh, maybe just go ahead and I would um, uh, go on to our um, next minutes, the minutes on our next, as the next uh, item on our agenda. Um, if we could, um, I, I had actually offered a um, correction to Mark uh, regarding an error that I made. Morris, you collected fabulous uh, notes from our last meeting, but I, uh, failed to include Byron as an attendee at the Inglewood Arts um, uh, evening, the social event. So I asked Mark to include that. So uh, other than that, are there any other corrections or additions, changes to those minutes of the last meeting? And if not, may I uh, hear a motion to approve? I move. Byron, I move. And a second. 
Back in second, Katie. Katie. So um, we ha have a motion to approve the minutes as I amended. Um, if all are in favor, um, that's fine. If you ha if you are not in favor, please say so or let us know. Then we will assume that those are approved uh, unanimously and move on to our next topic, which is uh, really good news. Hey, because Stacey, uh, before before we move on to that, could I jump in real with something really quick? Thank you. Please do. OK, this I just want to let Thomas uh, know that uh, 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 I'm Mark Randall, assistant city manager, by the way. And, and also on here is uh, Eric Erfer, who's in charge of parks, recreation and tourism and uh, Morris Heidi, who's the second in command over there. Also want to let you know that uh, also on this uh, call, you may see him on your screen, Steve Wagner. Then that is just to uh, uh, let you know that uh, this is a uh, these meetings are uh, shown live on Channel 7 and uh, they're also uh, streamed uh, on the city platform. So just wanted to let you know that that's what these other people are doing on this uh, call. OK, that's it. Thank you so much for that, Mark. I thank you so much. <laughs> so grateful for your help. Thank you. So now I will go ahead and move on to the next uh, exciting topic, our, uh, the update that we have some good news on our Truman and Trails Murals project. Um, Mark, do you want to share that or is, is that someone else should yeah. do that? Yes, I guess we better uh, say that it was not as exciting as we thought it was going to be. Uh, there is originally, uh, just to uh, fill in uh, some of the new folks, uh, when it all dates back to when uh, MoDOT and the city went in together uh, to collaborate on the replacement of the uh, new bridge on 24 Highway in front of the Truman uh, Presidential Library. Part of the things that the city, one of the things the city was going to do was put on, uh, you know, special icons about Truman and the in our historic trails and put in two historic murals uh, underneath that bridge where the uh, Truman uh, Connect Trail is being installed that connects to other trails that we have uh, uh, along there. And so, uh, which Eric and Morris can tell you more about that, the details on that. But the murals were part of what the city was going to do. Well, once uh, we got do we, so the, this commission was asked to go through a procurement process to, to select an artist for those murals. That was done. An artist has been selected. But just before they got to work on the project, uh, the COVID hit and city funds were frozen for that project. And uh, we were, uh, so it's just been hanging, waiting for that. Uh, the bridge is otherwise done, but those murals have not been installed. The icons for the trails have been installed, but not the murals. Uh, recently, the city manager indicated that we might that that he would be able to unfreeze uh, funds for one of the murals if the other one could be funds could be found. The artist came forward to contribute ten thousand dollars in essence by uh, reducing his fee by ten thousand dollars on the second mural. Um, the tourism commission also uh, told Eric they would be willing to uh, assist with uh, half of the costs of one of that second mural, uh, half of the remaining part after that deduction. So, uh, but since then what has happened is the, we have, the city manager has heard from uh, council members that they felt that, that it was still unwise to unfreeze those funds, which was originally coming out of the street sales tax. Cause again, going back to this being a transportation project, uh, on 24 Highway, the murals were going to be funded just as the rest of the city contribution. The project was coming out of the street sales tax, but uh, so but he has now he heard that they are uncomfortable with unfreezing those funds. So we're basically back to where we were. Other than uh, so mural number one, there is no funding for that one. Mural number two, the artist has subtracted ten thousand dollars from the cost, which was twenty two thousand five hundred for that mural. Uh, and the tourism had said they would be willing to uh, pay half of the difference, which was about $6,250. So really, that's all that we are at at this point. So we're really back to uh, waiting uh, to try to get funding identified. The mayor has indicated that she would be happy to lead the charge in raising funds for this in the community, but we haven't 
got anything uh, other than that at this moment to report. So, uh, so anyway, I guess I throw a little cold water on the excitement on this. We thought that we were ready to go ahead and cut a, uh, a purchase order with the artists for these, but it appears that we're still unable to do that at this time. Okay, that leads me to ask another question then. Um, if, if the funds for the second mural that the um, artist was willing to reduce his rate on, if is he still willing to make that um, donation in this, now that the first one's not an option? You mean, would he just do the second mural for the 12,500 without a commitment for the other one? Correct. That, I don't know the answer to that. So I don't want to assume that he would, is my only, that's the only thing. I just want to make sure that. Um, right. Because the spirit of that he did that was that we were short. Exactly. We we're trying to raise for the second one, and he said he would contribute to the second one. Yes. Uh, I, I don't know. We'd have to ask him on that, and I just don't know the well, answer. I, I understand that I, I would like to make that very clear with him though. So, uh, and if he's not willing to, we would certainly understand that. I, I think that would be um, reasonable to understand. So uh, I don't know if anyone else has a comment regarding that. Well, if you would even check- so, We would still be short though, even for that second one, even if he was willing to do it, we'd still need to find an additional 6250 to get the 125 even with his discount for the right. second one. Right. Right. So, but if we had that in hand, then that would definitely be a thing I think we could approach him on and see to get his take on that. Okay. But as this it is, is now it's kind of just a quick question. I mean, this is temporary, right? Just kind of pending um because of the pandemic situation or what what do you think might be kind of an ETA on um, I guess the comfort level in unfreezing the funds? I think that it's moved to a fundraising uh, situation. I personally don't know that the council will be comfortable with using the street sales tax for that for that one for one of the murals at this time. I know okay. that was what was originally set out, but in light of everything else that's happened i don't think that i think they've decided that it should move to a community fundraising type of a of a model so and, and like i said the mayor's supportive of trying to take the lead and doing that but um you know it'll take a while to get that accomplished okay good question at least that's my understanding up to date that uh, that's the re most recent i have from the city manager on it Well, um, we'll just, we're, I guess we're just on hold again and uh, sorry, right. to, sorry to stir up the excitement. <laughs> so. Well, I think we started it. I'm sorry. We thought that we were ready to go again, but it just, it's uh, apparently we're not at this time. So uh, my apologies. Well, um, I still feel like progress is being made, so that's good. <laughs> yeah. It's not just forgotten. So I agree yeah. with you. Right. Um, well, we'll just keep that on hold then. And um, right now, unless there's any other conversation, I'd like to go ahead and move on to the um, fourth topic, our virtual art tour discussion, which I think um, I'll be really excited about again, I think for progressing forward. I hope that I'm not dashed again. <laughs> so um, I know that uh, we got some nice photographs uh, from Nancy, uh, from the, uh, the bronzes in the uh, memorial building there that she took the time to go take some very nice photos. And I know that was a challenge. Uh, I, wanted to I wanted to thank Eric for finding the light switch. That was a big help. So thank you, Eric. Well, I know that was a challenge to get the photographs under that, uh, covering glass or plastic, whatever. <laughs> and, uh, so thank you for diligently working through that. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, and then um, 
do, do we have, are we caught up? Do we have all the information and photos from everything? Does anybody know that? There were a few that I could not find. I uploaded what I could into the Google Drive um, and I can add, I guess, the documentation um, along with those images. But there were, let me see, let me find my document here. Um, and I can just go down to the Independence Square and take the picture of the diver. I could not find um, that online. Um, and then there were a few pictures um, that we identified in the Truman Library that I could not locate either. Um, the diver, are you talking about the Inglewood sculpture? That makes sense because it was logged under Independence Square and I'm like, I don't remember that, but I'll drive down there and, and find it. So, okay, I have those. Oh, yeah, it's probably mislabeled. Okay. Is that the one that's in Inglewood then? And yes. those are already in Google Drive. Okay. Correct. Trent, did you have a, your hand up? I'm sorry. Well, my wife works at the Truman Library. So if there's anything that you guys need help with, even though they just moved back to uh, phase one, so she can't get in, um, she's, an, she's the audiovisual archivist at the Truman Library. So if anybody just wants to just send me a quick note afterwards and see if I can help with that, I'm happy to do that. That would be wonderful, thank you. Yeah, just uh, just uh, reach out to me after this uh, session and then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have my boss look into it. <laughs> Fantastic, thank you. Speaking of that phase one day, I'm gonna back up for just a second, Trent, and ask what, I know that they did go back to that, but what is that new date? Do they have one? Uh, they don't have one, uh, at least uh, as of yet. Um, my wife actually just got back from a from a trip to see her parents, so I can get uh, a little bit more information tonight when I get home. Thanks. So, barring that, was there other information that's missing, uh, Monica, for the art tour? I need to compare what we have in the Google Drive, but um, I think we have most of the images. Um, I I don't know if we addressed during the last meeting the the Bingham portrait collection at the Truman Courthouse, how we were going to, I guess, gather all that or. It, um, Cindy well, sent me the pictures and I put them on the drive. Okay. And were we going to like add a, like that in bulk on the tour or uh, direct it to a link and house it somewhere else? Are they available to see readily? Because if they're not, then they can't be on the tour, right? That's kind of how I feel. Well, they do have, it is a public uh, gallery, I, but it's just not, hours are not, uh, I guess they're not a lot of hours, but I would think they should be in the tour, just okay. listed among the, uh, one of the things in the courthouse. Yeah, I just, I didn't know if they were hanging, but it is in a gallery. Is that well, correct? that's basically what they created uh, okay. in partnership with the county. They created that gallery on the top floor. Um, and uh, it, it, I know it's been available for tours. I don't know, in COVID right now, it's dif different, but I guess Cindy could weigh in better than I could on that, but she's not on the on the call today. Nancy. But I've in the past, and it, it's really very much like it's a, a gallery set up. Okay. Nancy, you have, you have your hand up. I do. I just, it just occurred to me that uh, we do have a mural at the Sermon Center by Ted Stilwell. That's on the second the second floor wall there. That's a good one. That's a good one. That would I be just, a too. Yeah. Is is that is, is that repli or is that photographed anywhere? And the story behind that? Because I I it, I'm, I see it all the time. I guess I just got kind of you know numb to seeing it because I'm there frequently. So. Mm -hmm. 
I Eric Eric may know. Yeah, it was uh, previously not included. So, um, I, as you know, the sermon center has a couple of different pieces there, so it could be added to that list. So then, on the on the mobile app, that number will have several of those pieces included there, and we'll we'll have to add that one in. It is not a photograph that I know, Nancy. Okay, because I I would be happy to go and you know do another photograph, except i'd have to look at it because it's very close and narrow it'll take a little bit of manipulating but i can go take a look if there's not a photograph of it anywhere that anybody knows of yeah, yeah not that i know of uh, for sure and it, it yeah it will be a challenge to get that one uh, yeah adequate <laughs> photograph that's for sure i'll i'll i need to I mean, i'll be over there in a little bit so i will go take a look at it and see what i think that, thank you that's a really good addition It occurred to me another addition we need to make is uh, the uh, it's one of our one percent for the art projects and somehow it, it didn't make the list and I apologize for that but uh, it's the uh, at the communication center there by the independence utility center it's the uh, you know it's the uh, uh, stainless steel sheet that's got a cut out of the city limits and it it's backlit. I don't know if you've seen that. But we have a really good professional photograph of it uh, that I think Sunshine's got, but I don't think she ever got a chance to put it on the website. But uh, we, I need to dig that one out. I'll get that over uh, to you as well. Yeah, that's an important one too, especially since it's uh, from our Percent for Arts um, initiative. So that's important yes. here. <laughs> Um, let's just, um, assuming we collect these two editions, where are we with getting this, um, active and functioning? Uh, this is Monica. Are you fine if I like, um, I guess take the list away and maybe create a word document with all of the, um, details on each of the descriptions and then work from there on compiling, I guess, what we have and what we're ready to go with and what's still pending. I can do that as a takeaway this weekend. Personally, I think that would be awesome if that works for you. That works for me. Uh, and I want to encourage you to reach out to anyone and individually or as a group, uh, anyone who might uh, a, have information or photos or can help you complete this. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. And like any descriptions I can't find, I can put that on one list just so we know what we have and we can move forward with and what we don't have or, or I don't know what the image is if, if I find something out on the Google Drive, but I can put that together so it's all kind of concise then you want to just email us that um, Word document then? I can do that, yeah. Um, that in, the, in the Google Drive, um, if right inside the folder that's labeled Virtual Art Tour Initiative, there's a document that's editable and you oh. know everybody can get in it and edit it. Maybe we do something like that so that you don't have to email it or around. It can just be a working document. You could maybe start with what's there. It has... Okay the basic information and maybe add a column or maybe you just need to create something new but I thought I'd mentioned that it's there. That's a good point. It, I can instead of emailing the document if you just want me to modify or add as as needed to the Google Drive and then I can send out an email just letting everyone know that it's been updated. Does that work instead? Yeah okay. Nice. And then I think you, uh, people can plug in information you know if you need information on a certain um, artwork that we know about, such as Nancy and the um, Sermon Center one she's going to add, then you can just let us know that it needs to be done and we can go in there and edit it as needed. Sounds good. Nancy, do you have your hand raised? No, I do not. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay, just checking, just checking. That's okay. So um, if we have that information, <clears throat> if we 
have all the collected information, what do we need to do? What are the next steps? Well, I think I'd defer to Eric on that one, uh, exactly what, how this gets uh, done. Yeah, once with once everything's collected, then we need to get that over um, to our contractor who will who will then start putting this together in a format, build a, build a sample for us, uh, then we'll send it back in test view, and then we'll be able to play around with it and, and make suggest edits that he can make back to that. So, so really the most, that's not going to take him very long from what I understand. So really this collection and description uh, phase is, is the most labor intensive. Once we get that done, we should be able to turn this around pretty quickly. Monica, are you comfortable with whatever is required to get this information to Eric or to wherever Eric suggests that we send this information? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's going to be a pretty large file. Sorry, Monica. It's going to be a pretty large file scenario. So the suggestion earlier to do a Google Drive type of scenario where I can, we can just forward that link uh, is probably going to work the best. Okay. If that works for everyone, what I can do is this weekend, I'll go back through the images that we've collected on the descriptions that we have, put that all together, and then reach out on Monday with... Um, I guess the areas that were missing information, just so our group then can um, add into it and modify. And then at that point we can, um, I guess, provide the Google link with all of the information to be uploaded into the tour. Sounds like a plan. I love it. Well, that's um, that's really encouraging. Thank you for all everyone for all your hard work on this. I think this is going to be a, exciting for us uh, uh, to be able to share this completed task and project. So I think I think then our next our only challenge is going to be to make sure people know about it, and that's kind of the fun part. So this is great. This is like a Christmas present to the city. So, um, is there any more conversation or discussion on our visual art tour? And if not, we'll move on to our next topic, which is the art policy discussion. And um, I have um, uploaded information into the Google Drive. Um, I also have a rough outline that I think you all are familiar with copied from um, examples from other cities and it really breaks it down into five general um, areas which um, are is the general topic the uh, percent for art murals maintenance and temporary and then I also added um, since we worked so much on our inventory here and this virtual tour I worked on a area to house that virtual tour so that we would have a method for appropriately um, changing adding to rightfully identifying and so forth any bit of art that we inventory and share as a virtual tour or the city purchases in the future um, so there's really six areas of concern um, that I have. Those are the broad areas that the policy should cover. I would really, uh, I've done a, some extensive, extensive additions to those, each of those areas. And I think it would be really helpful if I could um, go ahead and reach out to some of you who were willing to participate with working on this with the um, additional information that I have offered and to um, get participation in these areas. So I'm hoping that several of you will want to help out in certain areas. Did you get a chance to take a look at um, the email that I sent with the outline and the um, information in the 
Google Drive. Um, Stacy, I've started to look at it and haven't gotten through everything, but I'd be happy to help if you need help in whatever area. So, um, I, I think it's coming together. I'm just challenged by trying to meet our deadline at this point. I, um, you know, we have, where's our timeline? We have the city council, uh, we have a meeting next Monday. Of course, that's um, not reasonable for us to jump in there, but. Um, there are two city council meetings in December. Is that right, Mark? Will they have the 21st, the meeting on the 21st? Uh, you know, I don't I don't know about that one. I'll have to. Uh, yeah. Eric, do you know if, if that is uh, still on schedule? For the I can say that it has not yet been canceled, but okay. in, well, that's past, right. in the past they typically do, but that hasn't been announced yet. Yeah. Okay, and then um, the study session for December looks like, well, there's actually a study session for the 23rd of this month, and then um, the 14th and the 28th of December for a study session. If we could just, I would be thrilled if we could just get in some um, really concrete uh, information in any of the study sessions that would make me feel a little bit better about moving things forward and I know it doesn't accomplish the completion task but it um, should um, help to get us squared away to do that soon after. Um, if all of you would take a look at the outline and see if there are questions that are unanswered within that general list. Um, if you could, if you could just uh, let me know or add information to that Google Drive that you think would be helpful uh, in an area that might be overlooked or an area that's there that you have uh, better information that you would like to be included, that would be great. I'm actually going to um, reach out to the, those of you who offered to help and um, have a little one-on-one -on -one conversation to see some specifics about areas that you could each work on, if that's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, any other conversation regarding um, the uh, policy at this time? Well, that sounds like a pretty good approach. You know, if uh, they probably would appreciate a study session present on it. So that's really a great, great idea. And then maybe we could follow, follow with that. You know, if uh, if they're not meeting on the 21st, maybe you could shoot for a study session on the 28th. And then they could just adopt it later on, maybe even on their consent agenda, then later in January. I'll mention this to the city manager, see if that looks like a good time frame, but I, I think that's a pretty good idea. And I am willing to, um, in fact, I was planning to visit with um, the city manager and just one-on-one, um, -on -one just to make sure I'm in the right zone for what he's anticipating and um, see if he has any comments that might move us ahead. Um, so I'm open <laughs> if you have other comments too. So um, thanks for your encouragement. Um, any other conversation on this topic? Okay, then I'd like to move ahead and go to the other business um, and ask for anyone to share uh, things that they would like to, um, to include today, tell everybody. Well, Mon Monica, I know that um, you have been working diligently on your um, on your uh, visual art tour. Um, is there anything we should be um, planning to um, promote this once it's done? Do you have anything in mind? Um, I. 
I mean, I know at, at some point we talked about like our website presence and some of the entities that are already out there on like Instagram and Facebook. I don't even know if we have a Twitter account and other, um, I guess, social media avenues that we could use to promote the art tour um, on the existing maybe City of Independence um, platforms, but also I know we had discussed at one point in time creating, um, I guess, authorship underneath our own entity under the, you know, the Art Commission, having our own presence. So I, I wasn't sure if that's something that we still want to, I guess, introduce at the same time we're promoting this new virtual tour or um, just try and collaborate with the uh, existing authorship out there with the City of Independence. Well, I know that uh, Trent is uh, pretty delft in the uh, social media world. I wonder if that's something that um, you have any interest in um, championing. Yeah, I, I could definitely look into it. I mean, I was just I was just looking on Instagram about hashtags with Independence Arts. Um, but um, let me do a little bit dig, more digging. Um, I think it's it, it would be pretty cool to have some sort of place in that medium. Uh, you know, you could start Instagram super easy and creating an account is really easy and something like that to just quickly promote and just share to people who might just be scrolling through independence. They might, you know, just stumble upon things. Um, I think that's a good idea. Uh, I'm happy to, to dig on that a little deeper, though. I would love to task you with that. That would be wonderful. That's something I can do. So. Awesome. If I might suggest, I think we probably should put uh, get Trent in contact with uh, Meg Lewis, the city's uh, public information officer, because I recall she had a communication several months ago with the commission about, you know, to, to what extent you could have an independent page or not, being that this is actually a city the appointed uh, commission, which is why it's Sunshine Law, and you've get, that's why you're on Channel 7 right now and everything else. Uh, so I, I think we'll need to get, uh, uh, so I think if Trent's going to volunteer to, to uh, help with, with Meg on that, that would be great. I'll, I'll make that contact with uh, between you and Meg then. Perfect. Um, then, Mark, is uh, Meg the one who really needs to do a little updating on our current pages, or is that Sunshine? That's sunshine, but if uh, you have something that needs to be done, let me know and I'll uh, get that over to her. There's a bit of a collaborative thing there, but I'll uh, that's most that's sunshine that really does that in tech services. Okay, I do have a couple of things, so I will send them over to you. That'd be great. Great. Okay. Um, then uh, everybody, I emailed you um, something you may or may not have been interested in, but a Bill KC one is the uh, or Bill KCI, sorry, dot com is the um, that was the I sent you the call for artist um, meeting that they had um, for the for the new um, airport, and I after I participated in the first. Um, session i sent you the link to get into the second one and then to you could probably find it online as well because it will give you great insight into a um you know that's a high dollar percent for art program and you can see that we did a very good job of um using the same protocols the same criteria this the same um transparency and we did a a exceptional job in what we did with um, the 24 highway bridge mural project and um, if you want to watch that or if you have a moment to watch it and hear questions and see how they presented um, or, or are presenting uh, that's the first of four art call for artists that they're making um, you'll get an idea about how to move forward maybe questions and um, some confidence in what we have in our future. So, um, I, I uh, and as an artist, also you might be interested in um, making a an application. They don't have a fee for um, making a proposal, so you're 
you might be want, want to do that as an artist as well. So I hope that you had a chance to take a look at that. And then I want to tell you about um, uh, Inglewood Arts on uh, Tuesday. They have a um, sneak peek of their um, their maker's space as it is coming along. And um, you do need the RSVP to attend. Uh, did everyone receive an email invitation? Did anyone receive an email invitation? I did. This is Tom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm glad you did. And I'm sure Byron, you probably did. Yes. Yes. But what about the rest of the commission members? This is Nancy. I did. Okay. And, and Trent, you're, you're, you're good. And Katie, you, you did? Um, I don't think I did. I would like to, I'm going to forward it to you, um, even if you are unable to make it just so that you're aware of it. If something comes up, you yeah. can. They are Great. requiring a reservation and a face mask just due to the COVID protocols. So that's why I want to make sure you can, um, I'm, I'm sure you could come without a, a, a reservation, but they would like to have reservations so they can monitor their uh, attendee numbers. So um, I will go ahead and forward you that invitation, Katie. And um, thank you. Yep. Monica, did you get one? I did not receive one, no. I will send it to you and, okay. Got it. Okay, anybody? Stacey, yes. Um, I may not have been on that list, but I yeah. did get the invitation uh, through Rotary because I'm I'm on that. Uh, oh, good. So okay. that, may, that may be the way that I got it because I was going back to look for the email, but good. just to let you know, yeah. Good. You just need to email back to Teresa Cosgrove. Um, but I will forward you that, so you'll have that. Katie. Okay. Yeah, if you could send that to me too, this is Trent. Uh, oh. For some reason, I, I, I just looked and I couldn't find it. So I thought I saw it, but I probably deleted it in haste, so. I will, I will send it. Thank you. Um, anybody else need an invitation? <laughs> Does anyone else have any um, thing to share today? Hey, Stacy, if I might, um, and I apologize if, if you just talked about this, I was multitasking there for a second, but um, you should have received as commissioners a survey regarding um, regarding virtual meetings uh, from, I believe it might have come from Meg Lewis. Uh, if you did not, then, then we will certainly forward that along. If you did, um, please do everything you can to fill that out. That information is crucial to our operations moving forward. So we just need a little feedback. I, I, I'll get that myself. Mark, you think you can go ahead and send that at all, if you don't mind? I'm sorry, I didn't hear. You're talking about that survey for to the, the commission members? Yes. Yes. Yeah, uh, I thought that we did go out to them, but we'll check we'll check on that. We'll make sure they get it. Yeah, and I'm not sure if, if Tom would have been on that list because it came out a little while ago. Yeah, shaking head head no, right. so let's make sure he's on there. I this is Nancy again. I don't recall getting a survey like that, but that isn't I mean I get surveys all the time, but I don't remember that one at all. I did get that one. It looks like she sent it out on 11-4. Meg Lewis, it says virtual meeting survey is the subject on that one. We'll send it out again. Okay. Thank you. Great, we'll do it. And one other item real quick, if uh, that I was going to mention to you that uh, Eric just reminded me of it when he was talking that uh, we just had, had um, the city manager officially uh, designated Eric Morris and Tamara with Park Recreation Tourism to uh, join me with, as uh, staff liaisons for this commission. So they've, as you know, they've been helping all along anyway, but it was well, didn't, been just kind of uh, informally helping out. But now, now we're, we got them officially uh, as staff uh, support. This is really great because I think we ought to explore 
for these to get uh, parks recreation more involved. As you know, just, this virtual tour is they're very there's, there's actually a tourism uh, function there that we've tagged onto, uh, but that's just tip of the iceberg. You know, we've talked before about we might want to uh, you know get once we have have the town full of art, public artworks, you know, we may want to have the parks involved in uh, helping manage those. I think parks is a key history, historic, historic, the, the tourism and parks are both critical partners in art and culture throughout our city. So um, it, it's, it, I don't know if we could move forward without them. Well, thank you for saying that, Stacy. We were just doing it because we love you, but now it's official. <laughs> well, <laughs> not going to love us as much when we have things too. So, um, mm -hmm. it, as long as we keep this a partnership, I think we'll all stay happy, though. So, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Any any um, thing else today? If not, I will call for a motion to adjourn five minutes early today. So thank you all very much. <laughs> we did a good job. <laughs>